Right folks, today's video is a nine hole um, stroke play I'm going to do for the over the first five holes and from 15, 16, 17 and 18 at Roundy Golf Club in the Isle of Man. Now this is the course they use for the nine hole uh, Stableford events on Sunday mornings and well on a Sunday generally. Um, so yeah, let's see what we can shoot and uh, hope you enjoy the video. See you on the course. Right, so first tee we have a 285 to the back, so it's just a 3 wood for me, slightly into the wind off the right. I hit that quite nice, it's a bit high but it should be just short and left. This lie here is not as easy as you think it is, it's um, a bit more tricky than what, what it looks to the, to the eye. Probably should have used a 52 or something just to get it rolling a bit better at the hole, but yeah, we'll have a go with this one. This putt here was just inside right, if anything, and needed to be hit firm. Yeah, so there we go. Nice move to one under through one. So this is a second hole, it's a par 3, I've got a 7 iron in hand, it's slightly into the wind, so I'm in between 6 and 7. But as you can see there I should have went with 6 because I'm quite a bit short, but this putt here is pretty straight overall all the way down the hill but it's fairly quick. As you can see there, I've overhit that, but um, yeah, it leaves me a little tester coming back. This one here is just inside, just right of centre. And there we go, nice start, 3-3. Three, three. Right onto the third tee now, basically this is just drive it and hit it as hard as you can up towards the front edge of the green. You should be getting somewhere near. I hit that pretty good but um, there's two bunkers just in front of the green that you want to try and avoid. Unfortunately I ended up in the left hand side of the bunkers and it was not in the best of lies as you can see from the pitch shot I just played there. Now this putt is just it's outside the left and it falls hard when it gets to the hole so yeah the greens are quite good at the moment so it should be not too hard to put oh and as you can see there just fell in the right edge move me on to two under this is the fourth tee it's only a short hole but we put trees in down the left so it's just a layup now the pin is back left so I need to be down the right side just a rescue club Struck it nice, but it's a bit further right than what I wanted, really. As you can see here, I've hit it right at the trees. You want to be inside them, really, for this pin, and it's a strong wind into. I've got a sand iron here, so let's just hope we can hit the right side of the green. Yeah, it was a nice shot. It's just leaking slightly to the right-hand side of the green. Now this putt here, in the middle of summer when the greens are really quick, it normally breaks. It'll break about two and a half, three foot, but I'm going to allow a cup outside the left here and it should break hard towards the hole. Here it is starting to come now. Oh, it didn't come, it didn't come. Never mind, nice par, still two under through four. Now this is the fifth tee, it's par five, but I never really go for it, it's one of them funny holes that it's, it's not designed for to be going at in two, so I just hit five iron up here, up the, up the middle. Nice strike. 
Second shot here, just trying to lay it up short of the hill as you'll see from the next shot. Just with a six iron. Now I actually hit the second shot a bit too far, but this one here, it's all downhill over the top of this hill. It's a bit of a, it's not my favourite hole, but it's, um, it's a bit of an awkward hole really, but if you make par here, it's not a bad score. Slightly left, I think, but um, yeah, as I say, par's a good score. This putt here is generally pretty straight, and it's normally one of the quicker greens on the course, this. Um, but yeah, it's all about pace, this putt. Looks to be rolling nice towards the hole. Yeah, not bad. Another part secured, so two under through five. Right, this is the 15th tier. It's a very short par four this, so I'm only hitting, it's downwind as well, so I'm only hitting seven iron off the tee to leave myself with about a 60 yard pitch into it, an awkward shaped green as you'll see when I'm putting. Nice strike just down the left hand side. Now this here you've got to try and spin, get as much spin on it as you possibly can just to hold the green. It's a nice strike, it's just flailing right of the flag. Now I've left this in the worst possible place you could, it's a really awkward putt and the, the idea here, the objective is two putts and get out of here. As you can see with the break there, I just didn't hit it hard enough. I wasn't brave enough to, to go at it pretty hard, but hopefully I'll tap this in and move on with another part to remain two under through six. Now this is a 16th. This pin is in a right awkward spot, right on the front of the green, but I'm, um, I'm going with seven iron. It's a bit into the wind. Oh, someone just shouted four there. <laughs> right, get back in the game. 7-9, just right at the flag and draw it in back on it. It was a lovely strike, it's just flailing off. And as you'll see with my next shot, it kicked off straight down the left side into the bunker. So I'm actually in someone's footprint here, so it's a really awkward shot. I'll do well to just nudge this within 10 feet of the hole. Yeah, as you can see, I had to stab at that, but um, yeah, this is another awkward putt. It doesn't look too bad on the camera here, but it's, it's at least got a three foot of break in this. And as you can see, I didn't hit it high enough or hard enough. But never mind, it's a tricky hole, it's a bogey, but we're still one under through seven. This is a 17, so it's straight into the wind. It's only a short hole, you can drive this. So I'm just gonna go with a really hard driver. Try and hit up the right side. A bit, a bit of a pull there. It was a good strike, but a bit of a pull, so we're gonna be up the left side for the next shot. As you can see me over in the far thing there with the sun. The sun's not playing off, being a friend, but a little pitch from about 30 yards. Just trying to cozy it within five feet, five to 10 feet. Here she comes up towards the hole. Not the best shot, but it's okay. Right, the putt I've left myself here should be right lip and firm. But as you can see here, I pulled it straight off the, off the club. Not a good putt, really. Not to worry. It's another par and we move on, one under through eight. It's only 18th tee, it's a bit downwind this one, so three wood I can ne normally knock it on with a three wood here with the wind the way it is. And I actually, if you see the weird flight on the tracer, I actually nearly topped that and hit the bank in front of me and shot up in the air. So I've got 140 yards left in here, downwind off the left, so I'm going with a 52. Nice strike, and it's just fading back on towards the flag. Right, so we've got about 15 foot up the hill here, and 
Really, this should be a left lip put and really firm. It's never going to drift too far past the hole. Here we go. Oh, just didn't allow enough of a break for it. There we go. So that's the nine holes done. And I finished them in one under par. Not the best, but um, yeah, I'll take it. Steady away.